Hey, it's James with Carp's Bees, and we're going to do an experiment here. We're just going to test out a pollen trap. It's a little early for this, but I want to see if it works. Uh, just got it, haven't done it before, so excited to check it out. So we're going to try it on our Insani Hive for a 24 hour period. We'll see what happens. So I can take the entrance reducer out. And I believe the idea is this just sits up here, in here. I'm trying not to squish a bee. That's pretty much it. So we'll get a couple screws, hold it in place, and go from there. Trick is, I guess, not to have any spaces on either side. Looks like a pretty tight fit, I'm surprised. I uh, looked at some videos and not so tight. Let's see if I can do this with this stainless steel screw. There's one in. And here's the second one coming. So those are in there. I'll show you the little hatch here and into this this little trap here. Okay. Yeah. Nothing yet. And then once a day you just come collect this. You can't let the pond sit in here to get moldy and nasty. Once you collect it, you're gonna quickly want to get it either frozen or dried. So and then you can basically close this little dealy who here again causing them to walk around a bit in there and have the actual pollen fall off. I'm trying to get the bees out of the way. Let me actually close this fully. So I'm going to go unwrap some other hives and stuff, keep the camera on this, and we'll see if it works or not. So we should see some bees coming in and see if the pollen actually falls down into the collection bin here. It'll be uh, interesting to see whether or not this does the trick. Here's one up here trying to find her way in. And then as you can see over here, there's actual holes on each side. So the bees have a way to get out and in if they want to. But again, idea is that the uh, bees are going to land on this with these small holes. Pollen will fall off is the idea. We'll see if it works. Oh, they can actually get in and out of this. Okay, I see now. Okay. Again, I haven't used this before, so we'll see if, if it actually does the trick. All right, I'm gonna leave the camera here while I get to work on some other stuff.
Hey there, it's James with Carp Speeds, and we're going to follow up here by seeing how much pollen we actually captured in our pollen trap. Never used a pollen trap before, so this is the first time giving it a shot. So basically it's been on there anywhere from 12 to 14 hours, so we're just going to go see how it's working. It's a little early in the season, we don't want to take too much from the hive, so we're just going to open everything up and let the bees be after this. Uh, this was just a test, but we'll grab our pollen, put it in this cup bring it in the house, freeze it, and then uh, if somebody needs pollen, we'll have it. So let's go check it out. GoPro stop recording. So I guess the trick with a pollen trap is you kind of got to force the bees to go through these little openings. And they're not going to want to. So if they can find any other way to get in, they're going to take that before they try to squeeze through these little openings and drop the pollen off. But it looks like it is actually working. I see little bits of pollen in here. So some of that's been going, but the bees are obviously, or it looks like anyway, the bees are trying to go elsewhere as well. So let's see, I, I did try to plug up some of these holes, but ah, uh, see, I didn't realize, look at that. This has a hole around the side, well no wonder. So a lot of the bees are gonna go in and out here. Well, that's a design flaw if you ask me. Same thing over here. Look at that. Well, that's not going to work. Huh. Well, I'm preparing to be disappointed here. We'll see how much pollen we got. Let's check it out. Go pro stop. All right, let's see how much has been captured. Oh, well, you know what? A tear. I mean, it's not a ton, but a bit. Oh, there's a bee in there. So we'll take this. I think what we'll do is, it looks like the bees are getting in and out of those little holes there, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug that up. So we'll uh, put this into a little cup here. Woo, got to be careful. stuff. Let's see if we can see how these bees are getting in though before we put this back in. It looks like they might be going underneath or something. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a stick in these little holes. I don't know why in the world they have those holes there. Because look at this. They're just coming and going looks like they're coming and getting in and out here too somehow let's see what's going on yeah so there's an entrance way a way to get in out there something's going on with this it's weird And the perfect stick to stick in there, actually. Come on, girls. There we go. Alright, I think what that's going to do is force these girls to go in the front again. We'll keep this experiment going for a bit because they were obviously getting in and out all on their own. All 
there you have it. We got our first little batch of pollen. Let's see if they come off of this area here and move around to the front and start coming in this way. Okay, this is going to be the final on this pollen trap. We're going to open it all up. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, you definitely got to put those holes up. We got a lot more. Cool, it worked. So, we open the little gate and off there they're they can do whatever they want now. Woohoo, it worked. Hey, look how great this pollen turned out. So, I got these little mini tic tac boxes type dispensers and I'm going to put the pollen in there. We'll fill it up to the top and make it available to folks who want it. So that is the result of just one day of collecting pollen. Not a lot. We'll get a bunch more here as the season gets going. I don't want to take too much right now just because the bees are coming out of winter and they need all the pollen they can get to do their own thing. So, But uh, here's a little if you need it. So I think it turned out great.